Well, Coleman now with big slick and ace king. Nice way to join the television table. 200. Got the Greg Norman hat going. He re raises to 200,000. Solid play with the ace king. Action now over to Jonas Bushkus. Uh oh. Ace queen suited. Yeah, this is this is a terrible situation for the Swede. I, I don't see any way that he lets this hand go. Six handed, short stacked, ace queen suited. He he's gotta push it all in, Barry. So he continues to debate. I'm all in. And now he'll go all in. And let's see if there are any other takers. Gus Hansen a wry smile, but he's not gonna have any of it. Glossel will also fold. And now Mark Karam with the 10 9 folds. Janice, how much you got roughly? 503. Roughly. Coleman wants to know how much more Buskus has, but I can't imagine it makes any cool. difference at all at this point. So long as Buskus doesn't turn over aces or kings, Coleman is getting the right price to make the call. And in fact, Julius Coleman is about a 4 to 1 favorite here going to the flop. So Buskus's tournament life is at stake. He's made a nice run. Queen. Really looking for a queen, needless to say. 10 do 6. No help for Bushkus. Diamonds. The Swede wants running diamonds, but we've already seen three folded plus the one in Coleman's hand. His best shot's a queen. It is a four of spades on the turn. No help. One card to go. Jonas Bushkus needs a queen or he's out. Not a queen. It is a three of diamonds, and Bushkus will be eliminated. He made a very nice run. Will finish in 11th place. Earns 120,000 Australian, roughly 100,000 American dollars. So a very good tournament for the online qualifier, Bushkus. And Julius Coleman, meanwhile, has made himself representative. Nearly a million and a half chips. Meanwhile, back down to the poker room, Emmanuel Curly Seal has re-raised all in for 475,000. He's got a queen jack against Andrew Black. He's already put in 75,000. Oh. And we'll make the call. Curly Seal was praying Black would fold, and now he's even more disappointed to see that he is badly dominated. Seal does not even have two live cards, only the live queen. Queen, four, ace, all clubs on the flop. Great flop for Andrew Black. Not only did he hit his ace, he's the only player with a club in his hand. That eliminates one of Seal's outs. Ten of spades on the turn. Actually, pretty good card for Emmanuel Seal. Now he needs a queen or a non-club king to stay alive. And the river is a three of diamonds, and that's it for Emmanuel Curly Seal. Seal will finish in 10th place, take home 120,000 Australian. And Andrew Black has knocked out another one and adds more than a half million to his stack. This is the Aussie Millions, and we're coming back. Welcome back to Melbourne, the home of the 2007 Aussie Millions. We're at the Crown Casino, one of Melbourne's true treasures. Right across the street from the casino, the Crown Promenade offers a thoroughly modern hotel experience. Spacious rooms with fantastic views are a certainty. Step out onto the deck or unwind with a dip in the pool or maybe work out at the fitness center. Sleep, eat, work, or play, you can do it all in style at the Crown Promenade. Of course, right now we're talking about a deck of a different kind here at the Aussie Millions. Blinds now 15,000 and 30,000 with a 5,000 ante. Karen throws away a queen 10. Coleman with an ace queen. Raise. He'll raise. 200. Raises to 100,000. Blinds are 15 and 30,000, so that's a pretty standard three, three and a half time kind of raise. Hanson will fold, and so will Glossal. Now Huntley looking at a jack nine. You're not picking on me, are you? Come on, mate. <laughs> Two Aussies jabbing at each other here. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Just check that. Seven need a call? I'll call. Cool. And he does call. Come on, come on, come on. Let's say a good flop, Loki boy. Let's go, man. And that's a terrible call, Barry. Huntley only has 190,000 chips left. He just put in come more on. than a third of them on a jack high. Ten, ace, five. Okay. Not very good for Huntley. But pretty darn good for Coleman. Top pair, queen kicker. 
Come on, let's say a ten. Now the question is, how will he get the remainder of the sheep Good farmer's sure chips? Come on, Mike, give us a go. Huntley just begging for a free card. And he gets it. Thank you. A little nationalistic sympathy. Yes. Turn is a king. Thorough gentleman, I reckon. Huntley has actually picked up an inside straight draw, but this is pretty much Coleman's pot if he wants to put in a bet. Two hundred. Um, how much have you got, there, Dennis? A uh, bet. Hundred. Not enough to put Dennis in. All right, so he's going to put him all in here. You picking on me? That's what I think. Huntley is a sheep farmer, but the way he played this hand, another four-legged animal comes to mind. <laughs> here I am. Nostra Dennis thought he was going to win this one. I, he's still a chance. About a 5% chance. I'll let you have that one. <laughs> He'll let it go. Coleman will win this hand. Can we say what the next one was? Uh, no peeking. Coleman has won two nice hands in a row. He is now a force. And that man, Dennis Huntley, needs to make a move quickly or he will soon be led out to pasture. As they say in the uh, sheep herding industry, he's got mutton. <laughs> well, 100,000 chips to be exact. This could be the spot for him. That's what I reckon. I said I was going to try and win it as quickly as possible, didn't I? So I'm all in. There he is. How's that? With a jack 10. <laughs> Have a crack at it. That'll scare him. And Mark Karam will squeeze out an ace king. You're my friend, so I'll make it 285. <laughs> You're a gentleman. <laughs> a friendly re-raise. Yes. And in fact, that does give Huntley a little bit of protection. Other players will not be able to get in now cheaply. I hope you have three outs. Hanson will fold. Everybody folds except these two. So heads up, Karam and Huntley. Huntley playing for his tournament Come life. Come on, Luke. Give us a go, bud. Give us a go. To the flop. Oh, oh ace on. and king. Oh, wow. And the 10. My <laughs> queen. Queen's been killing me all week. Queen would be lovely. Huntley will need a queen to fill just, his straight draw king. or another 10. But Mark Karam, 4 to 1 favorite going to the turn. Any color. Come on. Come on. And here is the turn. Come on. Oh, oh, it's a king, and that's going to do it. Well, well Mark Karam, <laughs> wishing he had a Mark few more hands like that one, but this one good enough to eliminate Huntley. Nice playing with you. Lovely playing with you, too. And with that elimination, Barry, we are down to eight players at the Aussie Millions. Dennis Huntley telling everybody good luck. He'll finish in ninth place, 155,000 Aussie. We're coming back with more from the Aussie Millions after this. Welcome back to the Crown Casino, where one of these eight players will be walking away with a million dollars. Find out who it'll be as the Aussie Millions continues. And our two chip leaders, Fricky and Hanson, with a decided lead, almost two million chips over everybody else in the field. Jakob Glossel, he of the sleepyhead, has dozed his way to